Hey everybody, so I'm super, super happy to be with you today doing a reading. And I already have my cards shuffled and laid out. These are the cards that I drew for general energy for the day earlier. And um, no specific sign or anything like that. It, it's just general energy. So I'm going to share that reading with you guys for today, Monday, July the 25th. Um, as we get, as I gear up to get back into doing the um, monthlies and weeklies and things like that. So um, you guys, August reading will be coming. Starting with, I think it's Gemini. Either Gemini or Cancer. Somewhere between Taurus and Cancer. So guys, for today's energy for today, I got the, um, I did a three card spread with the bottom of the card for the overall energy. Positions representing past, present, and future, just however the reading comes out. And for the first card, um, for the day, the energy of the day, um, in the past position, we got the King of Swords in reverse. Uh, for the present energy, um, we have the Page of Cups in reverse. And then for um, the future energy, maybe as you get through your day, we have the Page of Wands in reverse. And the overall energy we have, how fitting for the, the cards that are uh, in reverse, is the Nine of Wands um, upright. And then I drew two Oracle cards for the heart just to help you get through these energies and offer some advice and guidance to get through these energies. And I got the... I, I took the top card, which was Rest and Surrender, the number nine card, and then I took the bottom card from the deck, which was the number five card, the Teach. So um, nine, the five and the nine um, are a theme for this reading. Um, be, they're both odd numbers, and then the nine is, is it, it just looks to me like we're going through some, a few, a few challenges, challenges, um, and that's something I got in a, a reading I did yesterday that I did not put on tape, because I did one for the weekend that I felt kind of covered the whole weekend, so I didn't come back yesterday with another one on Sunday, but, um, the, the five and the nine, it's like just challenges going on, trying to close up a chapter, trying to overcome some things so you can move on to the next phase and close the cycle, so with the king of swords in reverse, I just, the King of Swords in reverse, the Page of Swords in reverse, and the Page of Wands in reverse, it all tells me there's a lot of um, very nitpicky things, things that aren't necessarily majorly important going on. A lot of young energies, think creativity is not taking off, you know, a lot of um, uh, uh, immature emotions, immature feelings, things aren't moving. Things are not moving um, you don't have your feet firmly planted on the ground to go forth where you need to go because you're getting mixed up communications, um, just emotional battles with the king of swords in reverse. He's not, you know, he's not a king. He's, he's the upside down king. He's not con in control of his words, his advisements, his um, analytical thinking, his logical thinking. So maybe you're just in these, but these do come out as people to me. I don't always, you know, say when I pull court cards, oh, this represents a person. A lot of times I feel it as an energy. But I represent these three different cards definitely represent three different energies in your life. On um, the upside down king of swords, you may have some really cutting um, air signs right now in your life that are really being harsh to you as far as communication. They aren't offering any help or any guidance and, and kind of leaving you at a loss mentally um, with where to go, whether that be in your work life or your relationship. So you could have some uh, Gemini's, Libras, or Aquarius is really causing some some hurtful things and really being on your ass as far as delivering these um, messages. And then the Page of Cups, so you could have some Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces people in your life that are just upside down emotionally, not wanting to be creative, not wanting to move uh, forward with any creative ventures, kind of being stuck and just um, in their emotions right now. And with the upside down Page of Wands, you just have fire signs, um, Leo, Sagittarius, and um, Aries that are just all over the place. Um, another young energy um, that just not, not, he's just moving wildly. He's not really thinking about what he's doing, his direction, where he's headed. Um, he's not thinking about the quest that he has to make before he makes it. He is just kind of not taking action. It's a lack of action, a lack of fire, a lack of passion, which could also tie into that page of cups, which was the lack of emotion, a lack of creativity and things of that nature. And then um, with the nine of cups crowning the whole thing, it makes sense because all of those upside down um, energies, those upside down people in your life, your fire signs, your water signs, and your sword signs, it's really making you, you guys 
feel like um, you've been through some battles. Somebody might beat you up over the weekend verbally, physically, you know, however it happened, or you just may have come to a standstill, not been able to move. Um, I know the high priestess, the number two, the high priestess, that was a strong theme, like, like coming to the end of last week. So maybe you find out some communications which are represented, represented in this king of swords in reverse. You found out some communications and some things that just left you feeling bruised and battered. I don't necessarily feel like these were big physical um, physical things, but because you kind of have the King of Swords in reverse and emotions are involved with the Page of Cups in reverse and the fire, which is the action and things like that is in reverse, I don't think any physical things happen, but I think a lot of things that could have gotten physical or that just left you felt emotionally or physically um, bruised and on guard happen. So now you don't know who to trust, who's in your corner, kind of what the next move and the next step is to make. And um, what you need to do, um, as we see in the number nine card, so I got two number nines back to back right to each other because I lined the first uh, oracle card for the heart up with the overall theme card. So there are two nines, eight and eight, sixteen, six and one is seven. So it's another odd number that rec represents cyclic changes, going through things, um, taking a moment to step back and um, and and realize um, you, things seem like a mystery. You're pondering things, and you don't know which direction to go, like I said, as with a number seven. But you got to step back, and this other number nine from the uh, psychic tarot for the heart, that number nine is rest and reconsider. So if you feel br beaten up, you got into some things, you got some messages you didn't want to hear, people are being harsh, being nasty, bringing you communication, and just being really immature. I mean, your kids could have been acting their ass this weekend with the page of wands in reverse and the page of cups. Maybe you had some fire and some water signs that are in competition or fighting and things like that. And then you, as the parent, maybe as a more mature, authoritative figure, the king of swords, you had to uh, maybe do some things that you don't normally do to get um, order back to things, and you feel like, whoo, I had to do some things this weekend. I've been through some things this weekend. I'm back to work, and I feel like I was working all weekend. You know, whatever you were going through just felt like work and burdens and just challenges. So, um, and then to end off is the teach. And what I get out of that number five card, the teach card, that teach card is saying to go back and review what happened, review the lessons, because this, these things can be worked out. Um, if it was kids, take the time to talk to them so they can learn a lesson. If you need to assign punishment, such as chores or community service or volunteering, things so they understand why their actions weren't appropriate or why the behavior wasn't acceptable. You know, you, 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 everything you go through is to learn a lesson and then take something from it. And, and the times where you get that the most is in the challenges, I believe. I mean, you definitely learn things from your successes and you grow from your successes, but you really learn. You, I, I want to say you definitely grow from your successes. They put you on the next level. And maybe this is why I see the nines and we aren't quite at a ten. Because you're not ready for that next level as far as these challenges that kind of went on this weekend. you got to rest, reconsider, and kind of clean up those final things and put those final um, details in order to be able to close the cycle and move on to the next chapter. So um, that's the energy that I got for you guys for today. You know, Tom, I don't do daily readings, and I never got in the habit of daily readings because I feel like the readings transcend time. And in a day, 24 hours is such a short um, amount of time to do a reading and say, okay, well, this is the energy you're going to have in your day. And but, but I do pull cards for myself a lot of times just to give me energy. And I do not look at those cards and go through my whole day and say, is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? These came out in the cards. I use daily readings more so as a reflection. So I use daily readings to come back to uh, after the day is over and look and say, okay, well, how did this apply?